Today, we are going to make an exception to our no obituary rule here on the program. CNN Plus, a subscription-based streaming platform for those who couldn't get enough CNN on TV, died today. It's survived by a number of anchors who have fat guaranteed contracts, along with countless more producers and writers who moved their lives for a new job and are now on the street. Despite $300 million in funding, the unmatched resources of CNN and heavy promotion, CNN Plus could not gain traction. CNN Plus, gone today before many knew it even existed, at the ripe age of 22 days. Since my mother is watching, I will acknowledge that rejoicing in others' failures is perhaps ungentlemanly. So let us be clear. Our issue is pointing out the arrogance of those executives who believed in CNN+. Plus. For example, they actually thought there was a market for Jake Tapper's book club. They wanted people to pay for this. Take a listen. I'm Jake. And I'm Jake Plus. Hey, man, those snacks are for my book club guests who actually read the book. I read the book. Oh, yeah? How does it end? Happy? And where are the hoagies? It never occurred to those at CNN headquarters in New York that much of America would not pay to be in Jake's book club. In fact, there's a lot of folks who would pay not to be in the book club. Those folks at CNN headquarters find people like all of us scornful. That said, Jake's ego, Chris Wallace and his millions of dollars in salary, Cassie Hunt's cushy job, Brian Stelter's show and his newsletter, all of the big names and their big salaries are gonna be just fine. Ellie Smith, a young CNN Plus producer said it best. PSA, if you're going to tweet something snarky about CNN Plus, hundreds of journalists and technicians who did nothing but work their tails off just had the rug pulled out from under them. So be kind. To be honest, we spent much of the morning here thinking about who from CNN Plus we could hire. The door is open. CNN Plus's short life drives home a lesson I learned from the swing man. Smartest guy I know in cable news. This is the lesson. In cable and in streaming, for that matter, content drives viewership. Case in point, our congratulations to Sean Hannity, who today became the longest lasting primetime cable host in history. Today, he beat out Larry King 25 years, six months, and 15 days. For reference, CNN Plus, with its $300 million investment, lasted 0.3% as long. Among the people I know in TV, Sean's work ethic, sincerity, and genuine humility is equaled by few and exceeded by none. Sean, congratulations. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.